Today I'm gonna review the first episode of the Anime Kingdom. Ah, oh, come on! Pray for me. Hey guys, Lunar Knight here. Now, consider this as a concept. An anime based on Chinese history. Not a bad idea, right? We've seen different variations in video games and books like Dynasty Warriors and Romance of the Three Kingdoms. So an anime about it might sound good but confusing. I mean, how are you going to portray it is a big question. Are you going to be historically accurate or do it over the top? Or you do the bullshit and make a crappy anime. I mean, okay, having your own version of history can work most of the time, but you know they have fun with it and tell compelling commentary. This, well, this is Kingdom. We start this epic anime with close up of feet walking and a kid complaining. Yay! Now, when you meet the two main characters, you start to realize one thing wrong with the animation. The designs for the main characters are but ugly. For one, the eyes, which in anime is most expressive of a character giving different expressions for different situations. Here their eyes are huge and classy looking, and it really looks out of place because none of the other characters look like that. I mean, imagine if I have eyes like those. That wouldn't fit in the show in the slightest. Why do I feel different all of a sudden? We then see that these boys watch over a battlefield as two armies attack one another. We then get to see the history of China as separate kingdoms are at war with each other. So if you play Dynasty Warriors, it's just the intro to the new chapter. Wow, I'm going to think Dynasty Warriors a lot in this review. We see that the boys are named Shin, voiced by Cole Howard, and Piao, voiced by Jun Fukuyama, training on a field where a minister comes across their them, them sword fighting. And uh, no offense, but he looks pretty good for an old man. Then again, people have their own opinions. As it turns out that Shin and Piao are servants to a rich farmer and his family, and they can be pretty cruel to Shin. If we just end up starving, then we'll become bandits, and this house can be the first place we strike! Are you that foolish? I know that. It was a joke, okay? That's all. That's a serious thing to joke about. Piao and Shen see that the minister wants Piao to join him in the, to the royal court. Piao asks the, asks the minister if he can think it over, which doesn't please his Shen. I don't have the slightest idea what this is all about. You can tell by the monotone of my voice. Piao tells Shen that he will accept the offer and heads to the royal court, which encourages Shen to work hard and train so that he can also join the court. Hey, thanks! Yeah, you did good work. So it's been what? A month since Piao went to the capital? Okay, forget the main characters. What is up with that guy? He looks like a half frog man. Seriously, th can I not do CG right? And Shin? I have? Yeah. You're like a baby monkey who's grown into a monkey boy. What'd you say? Weird comparison, but at least I could play this clip. Monkey! I know that didn't make a lot of sense, but I gotta use that clip somehow. Shin then hears a rumor that the capital might get overthrown and worries about Piao. We then cut to the capital where the king's younger brother, Cheng Zhao, and his followers are conducting a plan to overthrow the king. Kinda weird that a peasant heard that as a rumor. I mean, there was no social media back then, so I don't know how he could heard that conspiracy. My friends, the time has come! Oi! Did they just say oi? I don't know if I should make a Jewish joke about an anime in China. Either way, I'm offending somebody. Shin sleeps on his hate bed, remembering the days of when he met Piao. Okay, this is worth questioning. They mix CG with anime style animation. Why didn't they just stick with anime? Actually, this style is a lot better. Why suddenly switch between stylized anime in some moments and crappy CG in others? Shin then opens his door to see Piao dying. <laughs> well, crap. Farmer and his family run out to see the incident and in shock. Piao! Where's all that blood coming from? 
Oh, it's coming from the Lord. Why do you even care? Piao tells them that the king's brother attacked them, which resulted in the king and a few men to escape. Piao then tells Shin to go to a village full of thieves to find help. Then dies in Shin's arm. Shin takes Piao's sword and heads to the village. Meanwhile, at the capital, young Suma Yi over there compliments a soldier on to have him killed. Um, I know I'm not an anime writer, but I think I can write a better way to show a young Suma Yi clone being evil than that. I mean, couldn't you just let him say imbecile? Imbeciles. We then see that the farmer's family is attacked by the guy that killed Piao and stabs their son. Yeah, I didn't care much for that character too. As Shin's being watched by... What the... And is ambushed by three thieves. This punk must have no brains! Good point. The thieves try to steal from Shin, but Shin beats the shit out of them. More thieves attack Shin, but he beats up every last one of them. Shin then heads to a little shack to see... It can't be! It's not possible! So that was Kingdom. I gotta say, I'm not a fan. The story doesn't make sense most of the time, the character designs are all over the place, and the animation can, can either be good at times, but other times it's just plain wonky. The idea of an anime based on Chinese history does sound interesting, but I kind of want it in a way that they're not doing. If you like this, good for you, but for me, I'll stick to Dynasty Warriors. I'm Lunar Knight, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to watch the review of Interspecies Reviewer, and check out this video just for you. And if you want to join my channel, please hit my right hand. Thanks for watching.